get a job at a huge organization, fully virtual. A year later, manager rage quits. Team is a mess. New manager comes in but never contacts me. I never contact her. I don't think I was ever officially assigned to her so she probably doesn't even know I exist, slowly divert my work to different people in the company, nothing to do. No one to report to, I've been getting paid for free, it's been 4 months, I literally spend all week watching movies, next employee review is in 7 months, I might get through till then. Tell me how you're doing being a slave B. The funny thing is, the employee review is usually done by the manager, so if she really doesn't know he exists he could keep this going longer. I've heard of a dude in Spain who got paid for 6 years without working a single day. He had to pay it all back in the end, so I don't know if it was worth it. My father called me to tell me something that happened today, driving to his job site early in the morning, stop at a McDonald's to grab a coffee and a burrito, how would you like your coffee sir, black. The guy on the intercom pauses, are you trying to disrespect me at my own freaking work, what? You will treat me with respect you racist motherfucker, I said I want a black coffee, not an African American coffee, left without coffee or breakfast burrito, my mother called me right after, I really don't understand why your father got so much trouble with a black guy at the drive through why is that ma? If you say you want black coffee. Doesn't that mean you like black people? The black guy at the drive through should have been happy to hear it. I love my racist to shit parents so much. I thought I was going to get a hernia from laughing so hard after the calls were over. Who in their right mind freaks out and calls someone racist because they asked for a black coffee? But apparently the guy was right in the end. Not sure if fat people hate related, but here we go. Tinder addict. Only get dates from this godforsaken app. Have this routine where I always set up the date at the same location. A giant park in the middle of the city, allows me to scope out the area before actually meeting the girl. There's a cafe overlooking the park with a balcony. Always sit up there to check out the girl before meeting her. When I match with fatties I do the same thing. But I don't actually leave the cafe just watch them. I'm here, where are you? Give vague descriptions like, oh I'm at the tree. This park is filled with them BTW. Watch them waddle about from the balcony. I'm a regular here so the waitress knows my shtick. Often asks if I'm walking the girls again. Chuckle as I see their pride from getting a date with a somewhat fit guy turn to panic, shame and eventually anger. Joke around with the waitress as she tries to figure out which girl I'm walking around this time. Not sure if I'm an asshole for finding enjoyment in doing this, but frick is it fun. Very wholesome, Anon is helping local fat girls exercise and lose weight. Be me. Feeling extremely lonely, pick up my phone. Pretend someone calls me, hello? Who is this? Hey Anon, it's, insert childhood friend name here. Do you remember me? Yeah. Talk with literally no one on the phone for an hour. Best conversation I've had in years, I have officially lost my freaking mind. Thank you 4chan, for making me feel sane and in control of my life again. Go on boomer book for the first time in ages. Have friend request from multiple people. One is a guy who used to bully me in high school. See him complaining on his feed that his kid is being bullied and the school has done nothing about it. I comment on it, telling him it was karma for his bullying and how it almost drove me to suicide in high school. Flocks of replies come in from people calling me an asshole, and telling me I need to get over it. Try to go back and take screenshots but I'm already blocked, kek. Log off of Boomerbook. Gonna let the dust pile up on that for another decade, regardless that felt extremely good. I hope his kid ends up on meds or some shit, because that's what happened to me. Currently thinking of sending his wife dick pics just to piss him off more. Nah man, she gets dick pics all the time, send his wife flowers instead. It will be less creepy and pisses him off even more. I had a dream where I straight up pushed a guy off the roof of a building on impulse, and then quickly ran inside. It took a couple seconds of autopiloting before I realized that I just murdered someone and then started freaking out. I joined the crowd of people at the base of the building and they were all crying because they had no idea he was suicidal, and my heart just kept thumping out of my chest. It felt so fucking real, what does it mean? Mo. Mo what? That was basically it, I woke up not too long after. Mo. Please guys I am just looking for your opinions, not Mo. Mo, 